Om Shanti. Today is your 108th day of your meditative blessing. And in this blessing or in this Vardhan, God the Father, He tells us a method which we are all looking for, a method for liberation. How do we get liberated from our complete attachment from people, from things and also from different forms of comforts in our life? So these things are the ones which actually pull our mind down, our intellect down. And even if we know that we have to go into liberation at the end of the day, we feel that we don't need to be greedy or don't need to be attached to things and people and different forms of achievements in our life. But still, we sometimes falter and we get deep into attachments to things, people and many other things. So what's the method to get away from those attachments? Because there's only one way where we all can go towards liberation. There are not hundreds of paths, but there's only one path. And that path can only be taught by the one, that is the Supreme Father, the Supreme Being. In the world today, we feel that the different paths which have been shown in different religious groups are the different paths for every soul. But no, there's only one single path which can only be shown by the Supreme Teacher, the Supreme Guide, and the Supreme Father, who has to come down at the end of Kali Yuga, the time where all the souls are in distress, there is complete sadness, depression, and many more negative things happening around the world, including war. So now we have to understand that the only method is to be in complete love with the God, the Father, or otherwise if we are in love with people and things and different forms of attractions of the senses, then it's going to be very difficult to leave this body when the complete time of judgment comes on this earth, which is coming soon. So let's understand what Baba has to say in today's blessing related to it. Baba says, may you be a victorious jewel. Victory in what? Victory in getting away from attachments from things, people and many things which you're going to talk about. May you be a victorious jewel who constantly experiences being personally in front of the beloved. Now the beloved is the supreme father, the supreme being, the incorporeal one. The complete love for God and his teachings is the only method to go into liberation. Not the teachings which we have learned in the scriptures. They are just the basics. They are just the ABCD or the kindergarten knowledge. But God comes down and gives us the deep knowledge beyond the scriptures, much more deeper than the scriptures which we have read till today. And He gives us a method to get in complete detachment. For that He first reveals His true identity when He comes down on earth, exactly who He is. Otherwise, we have put so many names, so many forms to Him. We have even thought that all the religious fathers who came on earth to establish their different religions, be it Jesus, be it Gautam Buddha, be it Muhammadji, many of us have started believing that these physical, divine, religious fathers are God themselves. And that is the form of understanding which is going on in the world. Many different gurus have been claiming themselves as God or they claim that they themselves are God or they claim that Supreme Soul and the Soul are one or they are gods. But this kind of knowledge is known as complete opposite knowledge to God's reality or God's truth. So Baba here says, you have to be in love with the beloved who is the true form. See, God cannot be somebody who is in a physical body. Any physical being cannot be called as God. And God says, if anybody claims to be God himself, then he is leading you towards your own grave. It's going to be very difficult to be liberated in those kind of conditions. And the sins will keep on increasing in your life. And Baba says, no physical guru on this earth can call himself as the guide for liberation because I, the only one who has to come down on earth, as has been mentioned in Bhagavad Gita, I have to come down on earth, but I don't take different avatars. I only come once and that is during the end of the complete cycle on earth. So Baba says, may you be a victorious jewel who constantly experiences being personally in front of the beloved by connecting the love of your intellect to him. We might say through our mind that, yes, I believe in God, but do I know God? Do I know how to love Him? 
that is something which can happen through the intellect because knowledge is required which sets itself first in the intellect and then you can love somebody so first i have to have the knowledge of somebody and only then can i love that person it's not just a feeling of love that yes i can love this person or that person without knowing that person but the intellect has to have that knowledge so baba says a loving intellect means what does it mean the love of intellect is connected to the one beloved only one those who have love for the one cannot link their love to any other person or possession because for going into liberation during these times as you have seen as you're seeing the condition of the world today it is important to have love for one father for the protection for the safety because the beloved will always protect its lovers so this love is a soul conscious love not the physical love which we think as love whereas it is not a love it is the just the pleasure of senses of the five senses which we call it as love in the worldly way god says that is not love that is a sin lust is a sin but you can have only a pure love for me the father for that you have to understand the knowledge of the soul and the supreme soul because bodily love doesn't work with me then baba says they would constantly experience bap dada bap means supreme god the father and dada means brahma or adam to be personally in front of them they cannot even have waste or sinful thoughts against shrimat in their minds god has given us shrimat shrimat means the highly the most elevated guidance of what to do what not to do what to think what not to think what to see what not to see what to listen to what not to listen to what to have what to wear everything has been given by god so as to lead us to liberation from this world because there is a lot of attraction in this world of the senses and god leads us away from that for that we have to have love for him so baba says they cannot even have wasteful or sinful thoughts against shrimat in their minds the words i eat with you whatsoever you give me so will god will god ever ask us to kill an animal and eat no so what kind of food will i eat that's what we have to understand i sit with you so will i be sitting in a company which is talking about ill about other people no i'll be sitting in company where people are all connected and in love with god the father i eat with you i sit with you i fulfill all relationships with you i think as per you i speak as per you i listen as per you fulfill all relationships with you would always emerge from their lips and in their hearts you are my father you are my brother you are my sister you are my husband you are my wife you are everything to me because i need to get liberated from all my physical relationships which i am bonded by because of my karmas so god gives us a method to connect all our relationships with him so that we can be detached from physical relationships detached doesn't mean that you stop loving them or you start cursing them or hating them but you start giving them spiritual love instead of giving them physical love or by buying things or presenting them with things that is not the love that is just for the comfort of the body but for the soul that form of love you spread to all the souls then baba says only those who constantly have loving intellects can become victorious jewels i have to have love for the father otherwise things will pull me many things around me can pull me my senses can get pulled so i the soul who is not in control of my senses cannot go into liberation think about it that's the knowledge of prama kumaris which we receive have a blessed day stay safe om shanti Thank you.